Howdy darlings, so let's get into this pick a card tarot reading, all right? This is going to be for the month of May, darling. Happy May, all right? So we're gonna have three piles right here presented towards you. Pile number one, pile number two, and of course, darling, that means pile number three, all right? So what I want you to be doing is just pause this video for a moment, all right? And just uh, meditate, try to clear your mind and whatever number comes forward to you or what uh, pile you feel called to when you open your eyes, that is the message that is meant for you could be one could be all of them darling you could have something uh message in each pile all right whatever it is you are drawn to once you pick your pile darling go into the description box i'll also be leaving chapters as well in the video for each of the piles so you can go straight to your reading darling all right and so that's all i have for you guys remember i do a weekly tarot reading as well every single time for all the zodiacs all right so be sure to check out those tarot readings as well let's get into this Alrighty, so my darlings, you chose pile number one. Let's see what's good, what's popping with you, honeys, okay? We have the snow leopard that step forward for y'all. This card says taking some time out, out of your usual and spending it in life, uh, spending it in solitude. All right. So you're going to have a little bit of a quiet period during uh, May, darling. Not a bad uh, message, though, I would say. When you have this paired with the star energy as well. All right. I feel as if a lot of you guys have been in pile number one chasing after your goal here. You guys are very determined. All right. Very, very determined. And uh, so for the month of May for you guys, you guys have been having to put so many uh, like <laughs> just uh how would i put this darling like every single day that you would wake up you have a giant to-do list that you have to tackle and then you have 10 other things that are thrown on top of you uh darling that you have to also manage and you still have made it through pile number one you still have managed to keep your head above water you still have never forgotten the focus of what it is that you're trying to obtain everything that you've been wishing for for many of you guys for a long period of time for years darling all right you guys have not given up on that and i really want to celebrate you guys in that pile number one all right i know we still have this other card that we need to read off right uh the five of swords coming in here resentment and competition coming in here so people in pile number one you guys have been dealing with energies you've been dealing with people because that's the thing darling y'all in pile number one y'all haven't had to deal with people being confrontational towards you right everyone that has had their feelings about you um as you just have minded your business and chased it out, chased after your dreams here you deal with these people who just don't want to want don't want the best for you you deal with these types of people who it's like every time that you take a step forward you have some good news happening to you i feel like it's the type of energy where it's just like oh well what about me you know you this is very much so in a scenario um darlings in pound number one where it's like you talk about how you just got a raise at work and you are going places right and then you deal with an energy where it's like well that's not enough right it's like is that you know it's the sense of where it's like they try to demoralize you or it's the sense of where it's like you get that race darling and they're just like all right so that means like what's in it for me does that mean you're going to take me out to eat more does that mean you're going to buy me nice things right it's always just like i feel like you've always just dealt with these energies that are just very self-centered that just have not been good for you it's just like you've tried your best here and so i wouldn't be surprised during this month you will find yourself in may where you're starting to separate yourself from those energies all right you're separating yourself from the competition can we even call it competition though are they even in your league people in pound number one because they are just like i see you over here minding your business and then they're always constantly your competition is looking on to the side and be like oh gosh like you know the pound of people in pound number one they are just really pushing it right let's not even call them let's not even give this the energy darling in saying that they are they are competition towards you so so we'll just call these people as they are just like haters who you're going to be finding yourself distance <laughs> distancing yourself from them so don't be surprised when you have some people that even you might not have even detected or anticipated pile number one where people start distancing themselves from you that you thought were your ride or ride or dies you thought they were like your day ones right don't it's perfectly normal this experience that you're going to be going through in may all right just remember the um that this is for your betterment here all right some people how they're going to be revealing themselves to you is that while you are just again minding your own business here they're going to be dropping hints and clues as to uh how their true intentions are and what i want to be pointing out to you is that do not allow these energies to gaslight you even if it's not their intention pile number one and what i mean by this is like you'll start giving them the benefit of the doubt way too much and you're just like oh no like um they don't mean it in this way i'm just over reading the situation right you start internalizing this 
situation big time and that's just not good darling all right we want to separate ourselves from that type of energy here all right during the month of may this is a period of where you're going to start reclusing in darling all right some of you guys this might be coming into the shape of you know let's just say it darling you might be feeling a little bit more depressed during the earlier portions of uh may all right but it's through it's like the sense i hear like rebirth and some you know sometimes that rebirth process doesn't look pretty you know some you know sometimes that rebirth process is very isolating but it's essential for you guys because it's like if these people cannot celebrate you right now you don't want them part of your storyline when you are like 10 steps ahead from where you are currently here all right you don't want to be well off and living the lavish life making six seven figures darling and still have these energies around you want to get rid of them now all right so allow these energies to separate themselves because darling summer is coming all right that means for us at this point in time by the time summer comes for many of us we're gonna have all those things that removed we uh removed in our life think of it like spring cleaning it's gonna be replaced by a lot more valuable energy all right and so see that five of swords energy just letting you know it's just like hey darling in the month of may people's true intentions are going to be coming out don't take don't even take it to heart darling easier said than, easier said than done i acknowledge but uh let's continue flushing this out here we have the Knight of Swords coming in here, or rather the King of Swords coming in, as well as the Six of Pentacles and the Moon Energy. Yeah, y'all were not in back of the deck is the Six of Cups here, right? So y'all, like these are, these are, give, this is giving you very much so connections that you've had part of your life story for a long time now due to the Six of Cups, right? This is giving me family members, uh, friendships that you've had since elementary school, since high school, darling, middle school, right? These are giving me connections that you just thought, you're just like, man, like you're going to really dip on me in this way. You really, you felt this way about me when I, we spent all these years together here, and you already have noticed it, I feel, because I feel like with these connections, you feel as if you've given more to these connections than what you, what it is that you've received. You've kind of noticed already of where you probably have felt more like the adult in the situations that you just talk to them. You know, they might be more so just about leaning towards the gossip and you are just always about like the business plan or how you can even just I feel like for many of you guys in pile number one, it's about like personal development that you're interested in, right? It feels like y'all's priorities are just in different places all right you guys have been continuously just putting energy into these situations and it just hasn't you just don't get the joy and stuff that you would uh in previous times all right we have the empress energy stepping forward as well as here the ace of pentacles during the month of may for you guys well yes this is going to be a period of where you guys are going inwardly a lot of recuperation is what i feel um it's during this period where it's like it's like you deal with the least amount of resistance during this time of healing so let's just say it like this it's like by the time you decide to take a vacation and you come back and this like you come back to a thriving business where it's just like you know some of you guys have been going through some type of creative block i see or just really like a mental health battle right and i see people in pile number one getting greatly rewarded for taking the moment and stop trying to hustle 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 instead of trying to just push it through using productivity as a way of a coping mechanism so they don't have to acknowledge what's going on in their life all right i'm calling y'all out all right by you guys uh fully being present with your emotions with everything that's been going on the universe rewards you for it all right and so it's like don't get in your head about being like oh i need to make sure i need to get this and this and this and this done right and because in this type of dynamic you always are putting yourself in the last place right you never have that sense of me time you never give yourself that me time because you're essentially saying all these other things take higher priority and you're life than your mental health than your well-being right and it's just like it, when you put it in that way people about number one right you're you will immediately be like actually no i don't you know you have a sense of value because i do feel like and y'all and pal number one have a good sense of who you are right I, you know you might have like a little bit of an insecurity here and there about yourself but who doesn't right but for the most part you guys have at least mentally you guys have a very good sense of self a good sense of self-awareness here i feel like you always have been the type of person that like clicks with older energies even since you were younger you always found yourself with the older crowds communicating with them you feel as if you've never been um understood by your peers right 
And so I feel like for you guys, it's like you immediately get rewarded for taking this time to yourself. The universe takes this time while you are taking a pause to be in the driver's seat in a way for your, you know, to work that machine and to work that engine that you have been dumping coal in. All right. They take over the shift energetically. All right. And so you will be finding things starting to just manifest. Be expecting some of you guys, if you audition to something, you will be hearing back. Like uh, here, it's just like long term uh, messages that you've been waiting out for in this just been radio silence for a while now maybe for a month you know things i feel like just start clearing up for you and news start news starts coming in clarity on things start coming forward to you like things just naturally work out for you while you are in this process of just reclusing healing and allowing things to shed all right so really beautiful because here we ha have it here the four of pentacles coming in this is the card of investments all right may is going to be a very profitable month obviously i'm not a financial major darling right i'm a tarot reader hello but i see for many of you guys during the month of may very uh, positive um investment uh deals that you do all right whether that's you know in real estate you know crypto you know whatever that your 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 ministry is darlings all right whether this is an investment of your energy putting your energy into projects into new people right whatever it is that you put your four pentacles into because the four pentacles is the person who has their four pentacles and they you know they play the long game and decide on like what just so pentacles when and where right you guys are very self-aware can i just again compliment your intelligence you guys are the last time type of people to have a pity party i see with this king of swords empress energy there right you guys are very calculated all right even during the time of chaos you guys really find a way to stabilize things again during the month of may you guys i do see with all this pentacle energy uh your finances coming forward here as well you know due to the ace of pentacles here like things start really stabilizing in your life here you know nothing too flashy i don't feel right nothing too grandiose but it's very positive news may is going to be a month of where uh, you feel as if you're going to start feeling a lot more like yourself all right this will be a very refreshing that's the word for it i would say for you guys in pond number one is like this is going to feel like a very refreshing month for y'all all right and so that's what i got for y'all all right this came out very beautifully came out it just flowed so well so uh yeah darlings all right i hope you guys found a message in here that did resonate with you guys all right let me know in the comments below on pound number one remember i do weekly zodiac readings darling every single week for all the 12 zodiac signs be sure to check those out as well as my other pick a card tarot readings if you want to book a private reading with me my website's linked down below simply Velka dot com darling be sure to follow my social medias tiktok and instagram both being simply velka same as here all right so i hope i can connect with you sometime in the near future pal number one and yeah i love you so much darling bye all righty my darlings in pal number two let's see what you got here honey all right you guys got the penguin card coming in here fabulous all right the period of darkness that you've been experiencing has is now passing all right y'all have been going through it in pal number two all right y'all have been having a lot of anxiety about things you can't help things that are in your control things that are out of your control all right i feel as if for you guys it's been a main focus for you guys yeah with this double energy here trying to just keep your head up above water all right during the month of may it's going to be a lot easier all right don't be afraid of asking your spiritual team whether that's your spirit guides your ancestors whatever deity you work with your prerogative your spiritual business all right don't be afraid of asking for help some of your spiritual team because i'm being shown like someone just like tapping on their watch it's like they've been sitting here waiting for you to say the word but your spiritual team they're not going to reach out to you unless you are the one to ask for it right they know what it is that they could do to help you right they know what it is they could do to help you but they don't want to be the one you know this is very much so that like tough parental love but it's still tender where they're just like they'll watch you fall you know watch you go through your life experience a little bit you know so you learn from it and then later on if you ask for help that's when they'll give their perspective but it's like yeah i keep on being shown someone just tapping on their watch honey unless i mean honey unless you just got yourself a rolex come on now if you're watching that but no i'm like but yeah someone's just tapping on their watch honey all right 
so don't be afraid of asking for help some of you guys have a good people around you even physically but it's like people just see you and they just see see you in this place where you have it all together even if you don't feel like you do right people that's not that doesn't matter that's how people perceive you as it as if you have it so together and so people are not going to put themselves out to be vulnerable because they're afraid of looking silly if they're just like oh hey do you need help they're afraid of it coming off as insulting all right you have good people around you to assist you here but it's like you keep it all inside and i know some of you guys you'll just be like oh well if i have to say it then it loses its meaning darling people are not mind readers give them the benefit of the doubt just like you would all right you guys also have the four of wands that i've been holding here and haven't been reading uh this talks about prosperity and harmony honey all right this is known as the 1111 card and also can we just acknowledge how uh these crystals here i, pre I never noticed it beforehand but they're literally herkimir diamonds right Herkimir diamonds right off the lake so i just want to be saying for some of y'all in pile number two honey all right pull out your Herkimir diamonds when's the last time that you had them out dusted them off darling and manifest with Herkimir diamonds if you don't already all right Herkimir diamonds are very powerful crystals they can you can use it to utilize their energy to amplify any type of ritual grid you know anyways all right but you guys have been uh you guys have solid people around you all right you guys are during the month of may you're going to be making a lot of forward ground is what i hear towards your objective towards the things that you want in your life for those that have been in question i know it's really hard to see it right now all right because of this dark tunnel that you guys have been going through that you've been traveling through i know it's really hard to see it and to uh, he even hear it and take it in and trust it and believe in it but you guys are on the right path don't get don't get distracted by your current details all right this gives me very much so like four cups energy where it's just like you don't see how all the beautiful opportunities spirits are trying to present to you because of your current situation all right do not you know don't feel defeated right now just because you know you are doing such a good job some of you guys are not giving yourself the benefit of the doubt pile number two y'all are not giving yourselves the benefit of the doubt i'm just noticing how this person has two snakes coming out of their crotch anyways darling child um y'all are not giving yourselves the benefit of the doubt and the strength that it takes for you to just wake up every single day and to keep on going all right you know the song that comes to mind and don't worry i can't hit a single key so i'm not going to sing it but it makes me think of fantasia um baby mama where it talks about um as a celebrate ha having a day celebrating baby mamas out there where it's just like this one's out to all my baby mamas yes ma'am yes ma'am do don't get me started in pound number two all right but if you don't know that song from fantasia darling look it up sometime all right and so for like some of you guys and i feel like that reference came forward not only just for my baby mamas out there i mean hello um but also you know people are so like aggressive or so dismissive towards like stay-at-home moms or dads stay-at-home dads or what have you when that's a full-time job to still do that taking care of the kids you know you don't celebrate your yourself enough you're always thinking about what more you could be doing for your kids you know always internalizing everything and allowing your obsession with perfection you using your obsession with perfect your perfectionism as a way to excuse you to be insulting towards yourself deprecating towards yourself to feed your insecurity to feed that imposter syndrome right i'm going to say that again you use perfectionism as an excuse to ignore the deeper problem behind certain habits certain things that you do all right that's going to hit hard for some of you guys here y'all need to celebrate yourselves more it takes it's a full-time job to live the life that you're living and just because it's coming easy to you does not mean it comes easy to anybody else all right i'm gonna say that again as well pile number two i did not know i was gonna be preaching today honey just because it comes easy to you doesn't mean it comes easy to everybody else just because tarot readings are eat come easy to me right it just flows so naturally darling i can't think of a more natural thing darling other than this hair okay that y'all can't see but it's like just because i think of tarot just coming so freely and easily doesn't mean that comes easy for everybody else y'all tell me all the time all right so keep that energy for yourself all right keep that energy for yourself give yourself more credit okay we also i'm not even going to be shuffling any more than i did in the pre-shuffle because we have the devil coming in at the back of the deck y'all this is your y'all in pile number two in may y'all are going to overcome this devil honey that is for a fact 
All right. Whatever has been holding you hostage, whatever has been uh, keeping your light dimmed, darling, you're going to be having a drastic change coming in in May to force you to come face to face with that devil, but also be able to um, heal from that, to overcome it. Yeah. Ten of Wands coming in here. Ten's representing closures to cycles. Hanged man here. King of Wands. I like this energy a lot, pal number two. All right, y'all are going to be finding your spark again, your light again. It doesn't come without a drastic change or transition in your life, pal number two. And it's a lot of things like letting go of the baggage. All right, things are just going to start melting away here. All right. And I feel like for many of you guys, it's just, it's going to be coming in a way of where for some of you guys, it's just going to be perspective change where you are just you wake up and realize it's so silly to be so insecure about like your body, for example, when you only have one life, one body you know and you just take more control of the bur things that have been burdening you you may you know this is very much so where it's just like y'all are the ones that are going to be profiting off of your haters making prop making this is like the um how would i say this like what is that one phrase darling where it's like making uh, lemonade out of lemons when life gives you lemons you make lemonade right this is the lemons right life hands you all these lemons and you're just like i don't know what to do with it honey all right things that have just been weighing you down right things that had just been very limiting on you making it so you forget just how good you are in your highest power because how i see this currently is where it's like you are this ten of wands here right and while I don't, it doesn't normally go with that storyline, I see this person as you, the King of Wands. Like, you always you always have been the King of Wands, but because you've been having to deal with all these burdens here, you forgot you lost yourself a little bit, right? Some of you guys have been neglecting uh, time for yourself. When's the last time that y'all have, like, had a massage? When is the last time that y'all just, like, took a weekend off where you turned off your phone where you weren't responsible for anybody else? All right. During the month of May for you guys, you're going to be re remembering who you are and being comfortable with who, who it is that you are. I see with the seven of pentacles here, your fruits, the fruits of your labor are going to be coming in during the month of May. Yeah, darling, star energy. This is their second card talking about wish fulfillment being coming in here, right? Four of wands also represents... Um, which is being granted because is it it is known as an 11 11 right when do, what do you do when you see 11 11 most people make a wish right and so the star card also by definition is that all right a lot of the the fruits of your labor are really going to be blossoming during the month of may i wouldn't be surprised if you gather a lot of attention here due to this king of wands and the star energy all right so if you post online content in any type of way it's going to be really rewarded i see especially like thinking some of the long term maybe you posted like video maybe you posted like a new website or something like that and you didn't get the initial return the initial excitement that you thought you were going to get with this project it's going to be coming in fruition during the month of may but again i get this sense of like garnering a lot of attention you're going to be getting a lot of like moments of where you are the center of attention in other people's heads here all right especially for those that are following in their passion in some way is what i feel like because i keep on being shown like singing dancing and the some type of performative arts for many of you guys it's some type of performative right public speaking yeah it's something to do with where it's like garnering attention and people looking listening looking and listening ten of pentacles topping this energy off fabulous honey finances are going to be looking really solid during the month of may pal number two very very solid for uh may here right things are going to start stabilizing again two tens coming in here representing those closures to cycles this is going to be a period for you guys here where truly you guys are not going to be feeling like you have to struggle nearly as much anymore the reason why some of you guys haven't been able to give yourself the credit and being able to acknowledge your strength and how like just keeping your head above water each day the main reason that is is just because of where it's like you haven't had that moment to even take a break to have a moment where you take a deep breath and you look behind you to see how much you've traveled how much you've developed right and so the month of may is going to give you that moment that breathing period all right darling so that is the reading that i have for you all right darlings and pound number two remember i do weekly zodiac readings every single week so be sure to check out your zodiac sign your sun moon rising and venus sign all right as well as my other pick a card readings if you want to book a private personal reading with me darling my website's linked down below simply falco 
tiktok.com next to my social media is tiktok and instagram simply velka same as here darling all right and so i love you so much people in pile number two and i hope i can see you sometime in the near future all right honey bye y'all Alrighty, my darlings in pile number three, let's see what's going on, what's good, what's popping with y'all for the month of May. Y'all have the honeybee spirit coming in here, alright? Let compassion and forgiveness be your top priority in this situation here. This is giving me very much so coming to amends, closing off the distance here. Some of you guys are going to be closing off the long distance to a relationship during the month of may where um i get the sense of where some of you guys are going to be coming back together with a friend that you really distanced apart from maybe you took it personally um understandably because they just started distancing distancing themselves you put more energy into the situation than they did you feel and you know it's like they made the choice of no longer communicating or some type of you know amends being made dealing all right during the month of may we have the lover's energy i mean naturally coming in here as well this is going to be a month of where for my just in general darling for my singles out there definitely going to be a month of where uh dating is greatly rewarded all right in the sense of where the more you put yourself out there even the days when you're feeling insecure uh and all that you get rewarded for it for those that have been i feel as if you haven't been dating in a while um due to your past crappy situation with uh, relationship all right to the month of may you have a strong ability to manifest someone that's a lot better all right but as well just in general for you guys the month of may is going to be the sense of just social relationships in general uh upgrading all right growing all right and so it's gonna be growth sometimes that growth is gonna have some growing pains attached to it and other times it's just gonna be lovely all right eight of pentacles eight of rings coming in here resourcefulness and positive potential coming in here so yes, I feel as if this is going to be a month of where you are really going to be solidifying your inner circle. You're going to be solidifying your inner circle, y'all. All right. And so the people that last through this month with y'all, they're going to be your ride or dies, honey. These are going to be the type of people that are going to see things through to the end. All right. And some of you guys, you're not going to be seeing that until you see these other people that you thought were going to be part of your life dissipate. All right. Um, but what I get from many of you guys, though, in pile number three is that just the sense of like old connections. I'm not saying like this is not an energy where it's just like your toxic, abusive ex, honey. Don't be dare to try to take a tarot reading from me to enable you uh, enable you uh, to be in a toxic situation. My readings are not for that, darling. All right. Because, well, yes, we have tarot cards here. Uh, let's also uh, <laughs> let's also use our heads. All right. Let's use our heads, darling. So if there's a toxic abuse the situation darling obviously i ain't tapping into that energy honey because that goes without saying that's self-explanatory okay but some i just get this sense of just natural distancing where it's just like certain connections that i get this sense of resentment on your end maybe how they treated things or handled things right but i feel as if on some level you're able to see or understand you may not understand but you can understand in the sense of where they weren't just trying to hurt you they just have their own inner demons to be working through they have their own issues that they need to work through and still have been right we all we all are working through our issues but i feel like them in specific you're able to see where they where it is that they were at that time how they needed to experience life a little bit more all right they needed to experience some pain and unfortunately, you met them at a time or your energy crossed with their energy at a time of where they needed to really go through some development experiences, all right, to really f give them a wake-up call. Some of them, they had to re reach a rock bottom. And unfortunately, for some of you guys, unfortunately, from your ex human experience, right, you had to be part of that process for them. They had to lose you. They had to have fights with you, friction with you to be part of that process uh rock bottom process does that make sense pal number three so don't hold it against them all right because i do see due to this back of the deck card being the judgment energy all right spirit there's a reason as to why spirit is placing this relationship back into your life here all right this is not your your journey with this person is not done either there's more let there's something you know it's not my place to uh define why that purpose is for why they're coming back into your life why this situation that you walked away from is coming back in your life in the month of may but it's for you to acknowledge and just receive it and trusting the process all right darling 
I do get the sense of that they definitely have grown. There's definitely been growth in that situation from when where you left it last. You know, even in like a job where you're just like, you know, I like this job here. I like my coworkers, but you know, we need to hire more people. We can't be understaffed each time, each shift, honey. Like something has to give, right? I get the sense of in May, like the, the opportunity coming forward here. Yeah, seven of cups coming in, where it's just like the opportunity to go twenty different paths, seven different paths, obviously seven of cups here of where to be going with a lot of aspects in your life because i feel as if spirits coming this is going to be a month of where spirit you know it's like spirit has your whole entire life up until this point from the moment you honey the moment you left the womb darling till now spirit has everything your whole life experiences up until this point laid out and they're deciding being like oh let's pick this out here you know there's you know this has 97 percent completion rate to this lesson over here let's get them to complete this here it's like oh you know this uh this side character from five chapters ago is now making a comeback in this chapter in in pile number three's chapter for the month of may all right there's a purpose to it all right there's a purpose as to there's a reason as to why spirits are doing this so just trust the process we have the king of pentacles coming in as well during the month of may for you guys y'all are my most bossed up um energy out of my three piles i get um i get for many of you guys during the month of may also due to this eight of pentacles here as well i won't be surprised if some of you guys get a promotion or especially for those that like get a call back from a job that you ended up having to leave they call back and be like hey pile number three we miss you can you please come back we'll double your pay you know you can be the manager you know it's in that type of way you're there's some type of up leveling process here y'all are you know my people in pile number three honey y'all are getting bossed up all right y'all's checks are about to be getting fatter all right y'all's checks are about to be getting fatter that is without a doubt here you have new people coming in here you know as we were tapping into the, some old energies that are going to be making a comeback you also have some new energy stepping forward as well with this page of cups okay page of cups by definition new opportunities and new people coming into your life all right but also by definition the page of cups is known for the deepening of current situations current opportunities and current people in your life all right so really amplifying that previous message but be open to new doors opening up forward to you they might feel nostalgic in some way as well is what i hear but also there's a message where it's just like you're not going backwards in life if you choose to go back and pick up where you left off on a situation all right your future is always malleable you know nothing is ever set in stone we also have the king of wands coming in here i really do see for some of you guys getting into this managerial position here people are seeing you just in a bossed up way all right again some of you guys are not y'all y'all have this issue where it is for y'all like you don't realize the how other how you come off to other people y'all probably in pile number three struggle with this idea of people finding you intimidating because you're just like i don't know why you find me intimidating i'm just being myself you know y'all probably have the uh rbf syndrome the resting b face syndrome right y'all probably suffer from that right people probably naturally take everything you do in a more serious way like i get where it's like you probably feel frustrated a lot of the times when you speak you feel like you always have to water down your words fluff them up because other people will just like take what you say and just like really just be impacted by it you know i feel like you never are able to fully be your authentic self all the time in your most empowered self you always have to in some way shape or form uh dull yourself all right page of swords coming in here i feel as if communication is going to be the biggest hurdle for y'all to be overcoming all right but what i want to be suggesting to you guys right now with all this new energy that is just like right at the brink of entering y'all's lives all right it's, i definitely see that transition happening in may all right make yourself a little bit more open all right just because you don't see yourself as this extremely bossed up character doesn't mean other people don't see you in that way right you see yourself in just the normal you know whatever some of you guys that might even consider yourself passive you know non-confrontational 
other people see you in a bed honey other people darling they see you bossed up and then some all right and you are still going up in the ranks during the month of may honey y'all are just continuously going up in the ranks the opportunities the red carpet is essentially being pulled out for you all right the red carpet is, is essentially being pulled out for you and you know don't question what is going to be offered to you don't question why certain people are going to be approaching you this month there's a purpose there's a reason for each of those things coming in all right the month of may for you guys in pile number three is very purposeful all right find meaning in it there's meaning in every single thing that's happening to you this month you are not going you are not crazy you're not over reading situa situations that find the meaning in every single thing this month you're going to be left hints in signs clues from spirit on their presence their energy being there through repetitive numbers through some type of sign that only personally you associate it with and it's gonna be random things some of you guys is like a bronze key something with bronze right pay attention this is a month where you guys need to pay attention okay i feel this so passionately honey. i need to step back why am i taking this so personally right now I, oh my goodness hold up <laughs> all right my people in pound number three i love you guys so much this is the tarot reading that i have for you hopefully we give you some guidance some um uh sense of clarity remember i also do weekly zodiac readings every single week so be sure to check out your sun moon rising and venus sign all right i upload weekly okay as well as check out my other pick a card tarot readings if you want to book a private reading with me my website's linked in down below simply Velka dot com be sure to follow my social medias tiktok and instagram also both being simply velka same as here and so yeah pile number three i love you so much and i hope i can connect with you sometime in the near future bye darling